continues, not just for days, but for weeks, months, years. You cannot get rid of it. And the other continual feeling is the constant cold. Terrible cold. Sometimes I felt as if my blood circulation was slowing down. I was personally amazed at the power of endurance. Because, by all accounts, I should have become seriously ill and died a long time ago. thrown into a cell with a broken window. The KGB was determined to do an experiment and freeze me. Later they would say he broke the window in the cell and died of cold. I felt despair. I thought to myself, has God really left me? Am I really forgotten and neglected? Have my years of suffering been in vain? And in my despair, I began to pray. I usually pray silently, but this time I started to appeal to God out loud. God, have you left me? My cries were bursting from a heart literally in utter despair. One night, I had a dream. In my dream, I was told to pray for Alexander. I had no idea who Alexander was. But I told my church, and we began to pray for him. And right then, I suddenly felt a palpable physical warmth. Not the kind that comes from a heater, but like when a mother draws her freezing child to her breast and warms him with her tearful breath of compassion. It was a very living, human warmth. It penetrates you as if piercing you to the heart, and inside your heart a spring opens up, out of which flows peace. A wonderful, magnificent, soothing peace. I felt a very loving, brotherly touch. Someone's caring hand touching my shoulder. I actually felt it. And this gesture represented the words, You are not alone. You are not abandoned. We are with you. We are sharing your suffering. This warmth was the energy God gave me to feel. Physically, the heat of prayer was my own skin, my own being. As if the prayers converted the energy of love into the energy of warmth. In the morning, it was a shock to my executioners. They couldn't understand. I wasn't simply alive, but my temperature was the same as that of a normal person. I heard the doctor explaining to my executioners in the corridor. This is impossible. We can't explain it. About six months later, we received a letter from Open Doors to pray for Alexander. And we finally found out who this Alexander was. We had been praying for six months without knowing anything about him. Alexander had started a Christian movement that spread across the Soviet Union. For this crime against the state, he was imprisoned to a labor camp in northern Siberia. 
the death sentence zone. It so happened that many people began praying for me. That was exactly when they released me. Prayer opened the prison doors and, as the gospel affirms, set the captives free.